From the wilderness of the remote Sudan, comes the story of a humble girl. Kidnapped several times. Often abused and beaten. Bearing unimaginable suffering. What is the true value of a human being? Is it the color of the skin? What is the true measure of love? Is it giving oneself to others? What is to be free? On this world day of human trafficking as individuals, organization and government agencies all over the world, we pause to reflect on the seriousness of this social issue. Let us listen to some stories of the survivor in order to share in their suffering. A universal saint, Saint Josephine Bakita, patron saint of victims of modern slavery and human trafficking. A journey of our universal saint, Saint Josephine Bakita, from slavery to sainthood. Saint Josephine Bakita's story is a unique one, who is the patron saint of human trafficking. She is a shining ray of hope for the victims of human trafficking to recover from their trauma and begin a new life. Saint Josephine Bakita is a Catholic saint whose life of slavery to freedom can be an inspiration to all. In the story of Saint Josephine Bakita, we can retrace the golden thread that accompanied all through the dark tunnel of her existence, making it a wonderful story of salvation. Bakita was born around 1869 in Darfur region of Sudan. In 1877, she was kidnapped by Arab slave traders and over the next 12 years, she was sold and resold to different traders. Bakita means the lucky one, the name given by the slave trader as she could not remember her real name through fear and shock. Her experiences as a slave varied from fair treatment to cruel. She was a maid for her first owner and after offending her owner's son, she was severely beaten and sold. She then had a Turkish general for as an owner. His wife and mother-in-law bet her daily. She suffered 114 scars from this abuse. In 1833, the Turkish general salted the Italian by a council Callisto, who was a kind master, gave Bakita a better treatment. When he returned to Italy, she begged him to take along and he agreed. 
In Italy, she served another family as a nanny. When her new mistress went on a trip, Bakita was placed in the custody of the Canossian sisters in Venice. She was deeply moved by their life and discerned the call to follow Christ. The Italian had abolished the law of slavery and Bakita was declared free. She was baptized in 1890 and named Josephine Margaret Fortunato. Josephine Bakita became novice in the congregation of the Canossian Daughters of Charity in 1893 and took her final vows in 1896. She was gentle and charismatic and often referred lovingly as the Little Brown Sister or respectfully as Mother Moretta, which means Black Mother. She was known for her smile, gentleness and holiness. On February 8, 1947, Josephine Bakita spoke her last words, Our Lady, Our Lady. St. Josephine Bakita was beatified in 1992 and canonized in 2000 by Pope John Paul II, who named her as Universal Sister, the patron saint of Sudan. Her feast is celebrated on February 8. This African flower, who knew the anguish of kidnapping and slavery, bloomed marvelously in Italy in response to God's grace with the Canossian sisters. Despite the terrible things she had endured, Bakita dedicated the rest of her life in serving God, her sisters and the poor. She was a much loved and respected member of her community. Children and adults alike flocked to her, enjoying her good heart, good nature, good works and her love for the people. We all are given the opportunity every day to either lean on or step away from the things God puts before us, whether it's your brokenness or brokenness of the world. Are you willing to love courageously? We must not be afraid of accepting with willingness what God is calling us to do. Let us remember 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. What no eyes have seen, what no ears has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. There is so much to be done and He calls us to the work. Although Bakita never learned to read and write, she became well versed in scripture and told her story, which became her astounding biography. Despite the trauma that Bakita endured, she was able to find direction and value in her life which can serve as example and a solace to all who suffer, especially those who have been exploited. Faith can be an important component on the road of recovery for many survivors, as was the case of Bakita. Her own story in turn can serve as an balm for others. Through the intercession of St. Josephine Bakita, let us pray that we may be free from all kinds of slavery and find direction and value in our lives. Father, you who in your great mercy have freed St. Josephine Bakita from slavery to lead her to the dignity of being your daughter and spouse of Christ. Grant us the grace to imitate her in her great love for Jesus crucified and in the practice of charity and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Universal Sister. Pope Francis has declared.